Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Hunt for Bronze. I'm here with a uh, trusty sidekick right now, Andy. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, yeah. Woohoo. Slip and slide down. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we're, I'm doing my first uh, wild bass session for the season, which is really weird because it's like November and I'm not doing what I normally do. So we're just going to put down here. Got to start the morning nice and early. A um, bit of buzz baiting, top water walkers. Andy's using a, a surface plastic and a uh, one of those crappy bent minnow things. Oh, you do. There's something boiling over there, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So if you go like, can you see where? Yeah, just under that tree. Yeah. Are you gonna go catch it? Possibly. I got it. And he's gonna go catch a fish. I'm gonna get my kayak in behind him and we're gonna have a good time. Anyway, we're not gonna be chest mounted. We're gonna be on the pole today behind me. I filmed like that the other day. Really like the view, especially for the kayak. Ah, I'm just, just a nice long intro here because I can't be bothered doing anything else. There's a man. Look at that. Bit of ginger ass for y'all. Hey Andy, uh, have you met Andy? Uh, Uh, get my line there, oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're starting the morning here. As you can see, Andy's in front of me. Um, besides my mishap of forgetting my sunnies, casting off my lure. Um, so far, Andy's seen two toga, four toga, a platypus. He's having some luck. I'm using a walk the dog lure. It's a little Domeki here, nice and bright. I like bright colours. For walkers, it seems to get their attention, but more importantly, on this combo, I've got 16 pound mono. Um, so, this means it's a floating leader. So, when I pause it, when I pause the lure, it's going to sit there and it's going to stay on top of the surface. It's not going to pull down. So, when I start the retrieve again, it's actually going to stay up there, which is really ideal when you're surface fishing. Really, really ideal. Resorted to changing a few lures around. I've got a underspin on a Texas, as you can see. We're back in the main part of the river. I've got swim bait on here, and we're going to see how we go. We've got the wind against us, which isn't really ideal, but maybe the wind will bring out the bite. It'll blow stuff into the water. But let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. 
I got my first Mary River cod here. It has been all day. I got a tap at the bottom of it before. Cast back in there. And we have done it. We have done it. Yes, you are. There he is. That's my first Mary River cod. Absolute little cutie. And he's just taken that armor shad so nicely. Oops, excuse the swearing, I am very excited. He's, oh, he's just demolished that. I am a very happy camper. Awesome, that is awesome. Yes! We're a very happy camp with that. Little fish arrow J spin and the uh, Damiki armor shad in the three inch. Killer combo. Absolutely killer. Cool. Rare fish. Oh, bugger off. That's a soot, isn't it? Yep. Good boy. Sute. Sute boy. He's got a sute. Let's go have a look at Andy's soot. Hey, right, did I school? Yeah, that'll be. Yeah. Let's go, Tom. Hello. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Yep, on. On. Right. Yeah, it's a suit. Yep. Yeah, he's got friends with him. Friends with him. Does he? Yep. I'm just going back and straight over here. Yeah, good. That's perfect. Nah, spooked him. Yeah, that's right. He's coming over to the sand here. Yeah. Oh, you're making way over there, aren't you? Oh, he's grunting at me too. How cool is that, guys? Yep, yep. Oh, we've got a double. We've got a double. Andy's on as well. Mine's tiny, but... Yeah, so is mine. That's alright. We got doubles on soots. That's that little sooty, and he is only small, but look what he did to that beetle spin. He has opened the thing up, and that's Andy's. <laughs> Monsters. Absolute beast. All right, we'll send the school back. They're chasing each other. <laughs> Is that a platypus in front of you? Yeah. Sick. Yep, yeah, on. So it. Yes. On the big kablista too. Okay. On the big kablista. Yeah. On a big lure. <sighs> Check this one out, guys. Once he calms down, because he's got trouble in him. 
but and he has a spiky little thing. Been holding fish long, I ask myself. <sighs> All right. There he is. That's a little slip ball that has eaten that jerk bait. And look how well he's taken that front travels. He definitely wanted this. Uh, really did want it. They are a lot of fun. I wonder what the odds are of there being two in there. Or another one that I want to eat. So there's actually a log in front of me, and as I'm working this jerk bait, I just watched it go over this log and killed it as soon as I was on the other side of it, and that's where he ate. Oh, I'm sick of this fucking rod. Yep, got him. Yeah. Double on the sort. Nasty. <laughs> That's how we do it. Oh, that is a big. Holy cow, that's fat too. Even his booty holes poking out. Yep. We just uh, double hook up there, and that is Andy's donkey. Oh. That is a absolute horse, mate. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Yeah, just chuck it in the water. Beautiful. I mean, you compare yours to mine. I have to do that. We compare those two, compare the pair. Whoa. If Stewie can hold his up. Yeah. Nice little creek soot. Alright, I'm gonna let mine go because we're gonna get some good pics of Andy's. Just hold this bad boy in the water. Watch him. There he goes. Oh, there he is. Don't know if you all can see that, probably not. Fuck. 
Yep, that's a fish. That's a sooty. That's a good sooty. Yeah, nice, brother. Jesus, that's a soot. That's a soot. <laughs> that's a soot. That's a soot, mate. You want to park anywhere? You... Uh, you put a cast in there first. See where that duckweed is? Yeah. Yeah, there. Wait, what did I say, Stu? You did. You said I'd get a fish in the next five minutes. Far out is grunting. There we go. Biggest city of the day. Not overly huge. But still a good fish. Again, top of the mouth. He's absolutely twisted. My flash J spin. Or my J spin, sorry. To all buggery. But nice little 30 odd centimetre fish. I don't want to let him go. Oh, you're kidding. What? I just got busted on the hit. <sighs> oh, that's a good fish. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's just an angry fish. That's what that is. Woo. That is a very angry soot. Get that shade. Angry boy. A very angry boy. Just one angry soot. Thanks to land of Andy. There we are. Angry boy. How's that for the end result of the tussle? Absolutely gorgeous looking sooty there. But, you know, much of that. Now we're gonna let it go. Well, that has it, that has it, that does it guys. I hope you enjoy this episode of the Humphrey Runs. I know Andy enjoyed his time with me, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Um, pretty successful day actually, yeah. from getting nothing up until eight, nine o'clock. I think it was like, I think it was like 10 o'clock. Um, and then we ended up getting Mary River Cod and then just a uh, shit tin of sooty. How many did you get? I got six, I think. Six, I think I got eight. Eight, yeah, something like that. So pretty, pretty good. Pretty good day in my books. Yeah. Yeah, I was good. Nothing. Anyway. That's a future me problem. That's a future me problem, brother. Um, Lewis a choice day. I was using the uh, Flash J Spin, oh sorry, the J Spin, 12 ounce jig head, Tamiki Armour Shad, and a 90 mil for blister. You had the one lure. I was be high cut, you know. There you go. That's what worked for us. I was using 16 pound leader, both mono and fluoro. 10. 10 pound. 
both my ACM rods. The heavier one, which was the big jerk bait, was the 8 to 14 Immortal, and my 4 to 10 pound bass, or yeah, bass spin, I think it is, or bass magnum. ACM, good stuff. And you had rods that were a grill, like 20 years old. That was yeah, rare. classic. Yeah, um, yeah I'll, I'll be it, mate. Anyway, that does us. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, underscore Andy Chu on, on, on the gram if you want to look at a ginger's poor post. Anyway, that does it for now. I'm out. We're out. We're going home. Bye.